Okay, I'm going to try this again. This is the second time I recorded this. The first time was about 15 minutes. I looked at the rubric and it showed 3 to 7 minutes. So um, let's try to do it in a little more reasonable timing um, this time around. But this is my presentation. It's uh, GNOME versus KDE, two different UIs for uh, CentOS 7, uh, the operating system that we use in class. So starting out, we'll look at the two of them. Um, the big differences as far as uh, how they how they work, um, how they operate is uh, GNOME uses the GTK, which is the GIMP toolkit. Um, it's a uh, multi-platform toolkit uh, used for creating graphical user interfaces. Um, it, it's just, it's pretty much just the backbone of GNOME. It's what it uses. Uh, that's why it looks like how it looks, um, which is it's it's fine. Um, also, we got KDE. Um, just a little bit of background. It's, it's been you know they've had their 15 year anniversary, um, 20 year I guess um, anniversary. So uh, they operate instead of GTK uh, plus they use Qt. Um, it is uh, it's a free um organization they uh they build uh applications and uh user interfaces and so on and so forth and uh, another super cool thing about kde that i really like is widgets um it's really neat and i will show you that uh, if i hurry and okay so big difference um looking at this screen uh the big difference is uh there's a road down here on this one, and there's a clock on this one. Um, other than that, they look almost identical. Um, the gnome, it's actually got its menu bar up top, which you can move that, um, I believe, on either of them. I'm not super sure about gnome, um, but I know for sure you can move the, uh, the bar on KDE. Um, the other big difference is... Uh, down here, the three dots is your uh, activities. You click that, it's going to let you choose between different windows or different activities that you have open uh, at that time. And then on GNOME, it's got the big activity selection bar right here. You click that, and then that's where you also get to your applications. Your applications are all in this little funky symbol on your KDE. Okay, so if that's pretty similar, what's the big difference. Um, this actually isn't even the big difference yet. The uh, GNOME, um, like I said, you click on activities over here off to the side. Um, if you had multiple windows or activities open, it would have uh, it have them poking out over here a little bit. Um, and you've got your, your recently used applications right here. And then your um, frequent activities or applications or all of your applications with a scrolly wheel um, so you can look through them or you can type to search uh, over here um, you've got your your basic start menu kind of drop up box uh, with side arrows to extend for more options um, so yeah it's it's pretty it's a pretty standard uh, UI over on the KDE. Uh, it's not quite as pretty, um, but uh, it actually runs smoother, and I will show you that right now. Okay, so here's the big difference, um, or at least to me, this is the major difference. Um, GNOME uses way more uh, processor. It, it takes a lot more processing power. Um, these statistics I got off of uh, um, Two, two virtual machines that I'd actually cloned from the uh, CentOS 7 that we use in class. And I uh, cloned them, st started one up on KDE, started the other one up on GNOME. And everything worked on them. Uh, KDE worked a little smoother. GNOME, um, it still ran fine. Um, so if, if you want to use GNOME, even though it, it uses a lot more processing power, that's fine, you can do that. Um, but anywhere from 3% to tops 87% um, in KDE, that's with running three YouTube videos, LibreOffice, some widgets, stuff like that. Uh, that had a web browser open. And then GNOME started out nothing running whatsoever. It was a minimum of 65 to 81% um, CPU. And then up to 100%, even with just 
bare minimal um, applications running. Uh, so, which is my choice? I like KDE more. Um, is you know the widgets are awesome. They're fun. Um, less CPU usage. More configuration options. Um, I do not like how it looks though. Uh, it's it's very plain Jane, which is fine. It, it, it wasn't designed to look super pretty. Um, it was designed, I guess, to run smoother, um, a little easier. The it, it's not as, as fun, I guess, uh, which I think is why they added widgets um, because the widgets are really fun. But that is uh, the end. So real quick, uh, I got about a minute twenty seconds. I'm gonna. I'm gonna power these on. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Let's do this. Okay. So got about a minute left. Let's see if this will hurry up. I'm gonna be honest now and tell you that I just realized that I could totally pause the video but it's fine it's running now okay so I'm gonna go straight to the activities over here you see the, the different bars up I'm running a continuous ping uh, to uh, Google DNS quad eights and then I've got the CPU usage uh, monitor over here I'm gonna do the same thing real quick show you what this is running dramatic difference um, so now that that's that's going on I'm going to show you the little bouncy ball I got that's running around and it's trying to go everywhere so I'll full screen it for you and then turn the gravity off on it because it's fun uh, it's hard to catch it okay that was the last time I was going to try I'm glad I got it you can edit some stuff in it you know more friction less gravity uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's fun to play with, um, and as I said, I, I, I personally like KDE a little more. Um, it's not as pretty um, as what GNOME is, but uh, it, it works fine. It runs smoother, less CPU usage. Um, so yeah, that is my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thank you for watching.